The soul who sins shall die, Ezekiel chapter 18. The word of the Lord came to me, What do you mean by repeating this word concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten our grapes, and the children's teeth, children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, the class of the Lord God, this word shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all, the, all souls are mine, the soul of the Father as well as the soul of the son is mine the soul is the soul who sins shall die if a man is righteous and does what if a man is righteous and does what is right just and right if he does not eat up upon if he does not eat upon the mountains or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of israel does not defy his neighbor's wife or approach a woman in her time of menstrual impurity does not oppress anyone but restores to the debtor his pledge, commits no robbery, gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with a garment, does not lend at interest or take any profit, withholds his hand from injustice, execute true justice between man and man, walks in my statutes and keeps my rules by acting faithfully. He is righteous. He shall surely live, declares the Lord God. If his father's, if his father's a son who is violent, a uh, shed her of blood, who does any of these things, though he himself did not, none of those, though he himself did none of these things, he who even eats up, who even eats upon the mountains, defies his neighbor's wife, oppress the poor and needy, commits robbery, does not restore the pledge, pledge, lifts out his eyes to the idols, commits abomination, lands at interest and takes profit. Shall he then live? He shall not live. He has done all this abomination, she shall surely die, his blood shall be upon himself. Now suppose this man fathers a son who sees all the sins that his father has done, he sees and does not do likewise, he does not eat upon the mountains, or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defile his neighbor's wife, does not oppress anyone, extracts no pledge, commits no robbery, but gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with a garment, withholds his hand from iniquity, takes no interest or profit, obeys my rules and walks in my stages. He shall not die for his father's iniquity, he shall surely live. As for his father, because he practice extortion, robbed his brother, and did what is not good among his people. Behold, he shall die for his iniquity. Yet you say, why should not the son suffer for the iniquity of the father? When the son has done what is right and just, and has been careful to observe all my stages, he shall surely live. The soul who sin shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. But if a wicked man turns away from all his sins that he has committed and keeps all my stages and does what is right and just and does what is just and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions that he has committed shall be remembered against him. For the transgressions that he has done, he shall live. Have I have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the Lord God, and not rather that he should turn from his way and live. But when a righteous but when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice and does the same 
abominations that the wicked person does shall he live none of the righteous deeds that he has done shall be remembered for the treachery of which he is guilty and the sin he has committed for them he shall die yet you say the way of the lord is not just hear now o house of israel is my way not just it is not your ways that are not just when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice he shall die for it for the injustice that he has done he shall die again when again okay for the injustice that he has done he shall die again when a pig and when a wicked person turns from turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just what is just and right he shall save his life and does what is just and right he shall save his life because he considered and turned away from all the transgressions he had committed he shall surely live. he shall not die yet the house of israel says the way of the lord is not just o house of israel are my ways not just is it not your ways that are not just therefore i will judge you o house of israel everyone according to everyone according to his ways declares the lord god repent and turn from your all from all your transgressions less iniquity Lest iniquity be your ruin cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed and make yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasures in the death of anyone, declares the Lord God. So turn and live. This is the word of God.